This is John Schultz reporting for the Holland Sentinel. Though he's coached Grand Valley State spring football games before, first-year head coach Matt Mitchell was never the main man at the helm until Saturday, when he took the field with the Lakers to see their progress in the annual spring scrimmage. What he learned was that his offense can put some points up on the board, as it beat the defense 107-65 to in a modified scoring system. Here are the highlights from the game, as well as some post-game comments. That was it was good. Um, I think you know most most people. I talked about our tailbacks. I think you saw Hershey's speed and power, and you saw Schufer's feet, the ability to make some you know, people miss. So that was encouraging because those guys. It's the first time really being out there in that stadium, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, Defensive stop and run. run wasn't great, obviously, but at least when the ball was in the air, I felt like defensively we were competing for the football. We had some interceptions, we had some people that were playing through receivers and making some hits. Uh, you know, there was the quarterbacks, there was some good and bad on all three of them, as you saw. You know, I think there's some things Keith did that were good at times that seemed like the wind was really affecting his throws. You know, and uh, I saw with Grimes, he's got some big arm strength, so. Coach, can you just talk about what this day kind of meant for you? I mean, I know it's a spring game, but first game out there as a head coach in yeah. Lover Stadium. Um, well, it was. I think it was fun from the standpoint of we spent a lot of time and effort our staff, and you kind of got to see a little bit of that coming culmination. But um, you know, I also know after watching that game and you know being around our kids the last 15 days, they know that we still got a lot of work to do. So it was the first time kind of being out there, but it's not really a game. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of <clears throat> we still got a lot of work to do before September 2nd. So um, yeah, it was fun, but also I know it, it was still a lot of time left. A lot of work to do. We got four months left. We're only about three and a half months in this deal, and we've got no four left. So I mean, for people to think uh, we've gotten our work done and this is it, now we're going to chill out and hang out at the beach at Grand Haven, you know that we're halfway home, and uh, you know our players are going to stay up here this summer, and uh, now it's it's been led by coaches up to this point. We got some players start leading the charge in terms of lifting and running and getting our guys to seven on seven. Right? Uh, that's going to be critical. It's got to be player driven for the next four months. Which I will think it. I think it will be because I think we have a good senior class. How did you feel, you guys, as a backfield did? Oh, I think we did well. I think we got a lot to improve on, also. But as a core overall, I think uh, all the backs did extremely well. I think Mike Bertie, uh he was running number 29 tonight or today, but I think he was making really good cuts, finishing his runs well. Billy Sile, he was running number 28. He was he was shifty back, very shifty, he was quick. Uh, he was getting in and out of moves. Uh, Hershey, of course, Hershey. Hershey, Hershey was the, the star of the show today, running big boys over. And a guy that big with that kind of speed is looking amazing. Uh, I'm trying to think. Larry, I call him Chicago Larry. Uh, <laughs> he, he got in for the first time today. He did pretty good because he didn't get in a lot of reps on spring ball. But today he did, he did exceptionally well. Um, as, a group, as a group, I think we did, we did very well. Lots to improve on still, but it's a nice spot to be in. He just talked about um, all the moving pieces on the team right now. I mean, at running back, um, at quarterback, and you have a new coach. What does that do as far as um, where you guys are at as like an identity for your team? Um, some would say that it's, it may be kind of hard, maybe like we don't have a, a so-called leader. But the thing is, when you have a group of guys that all just want to win and want to play, it's kind of like we bond a, we, we bond a form with, I'm sorry, like camaraderie, we form like a, a sort of kind of family vibe, where it's like you really don't need no one person to, to say, hey, pick this up. It's just you come to the sideline, hey, man, you know, good run, but you know, tuck the ball in tighter, or hey, man, finish the run stronger. And it's just like you know that that person's not coming down on you. It's more so he's, he's trying to help you do better and pick you up. So I don't think it's really that much of a transition. And Coach Mitch was here last year, so it's not like he's just a brand-new coach coming in. He's been in the system. The players respect him as a coach and as a man, as a as a – you know, so it's like, I don't think it's really that much of a transition. Of course, we got a lot of players competing for different spots, and that just make us even compete with more for each other, but make us love each other and, you know, want to see each other do more, better as well.
This is John Schultz reporting for the Holland Sentinel.